Welcome to The Crafty Chemist. I am Maggie Workman, The Crafty Chemist, and I have a really great project for you today. We are going to be making these Creativity in Motion cards. You can use our new animated stamps to put your creativity in motion. There are some really amazing stamp designs. You are going to love it. Let's look at what you get in the product bundle. I will go over everything individually. But if you buy it all together in the kit, you can have a 20% discount just by purchasing everything together. Let's look at all of the different things in the kit. First, there's the animated sentiment stamps, the animated, animated butterfly kisses stamp, and the animated safari stamps. You can also purchase those together in a bundle for a savings. There's the border tab stamp set, the border tab thin cuts that help you make the little pull tabs. You will need the animation sheets. Each pack includes three sheets. And there's also a special 6x6 six six bright stack of paper. Let's look at the bundle. The item number is CC9208. First it comes with a how-to sheet so you know exactly how you will be able to make these. It's very easy. The first set is my favorite. It is CC9202 and it's the animated butterfly kisses stamp. And you can see it comes with three really cute butterflies and a dragonfly. There's also some cute sentiments. Here are some cards that I made using these stamps. This first one is my favorite butterfly. And look at how he looks like he is flying off of the page. This is my favorite card, I think. Here is the dragonfly. And I think that the dragonfly really moves a lot. You can really see his wings move. So this is a great one to really illustrate what you can do with these animated stamps. I have, it has a nice little uh, sentiment that says a friend like you is rare. This is another butterfly. Look how cute he is. I really love this paper that comes in the 6x6 six six paper stack, those flowers. I can just see this butterfly floating around in those flowers. And this last one is a bigger butterfly that I made on a rectangular base. And this one I colored just to see how it turned out. And he still flaps his wings. I used the tri-blend markers to color this in. It really looks like a monarch butterfly. So this is another cute one. So that's all of the animated butterfly stamps. Now let's look at the animated safari stamps, item CC9203. This one comes with a lion. It says hip hippo hooray, a hippopotamus a fox, and a crocodile with some coordinating sentiments and a few other little sprinkled kind of stamps, I would call them. Okay, here is the lion stamp animated, and he is so cute. His hair moves and his arms move back and forth. I'll try it again so you can see his hair. Look how his hair is moving. It's like he's dancing. And I got that idea with him dancing. I decided to make some party animals dancing the night away. I used the crocodile, the hippopotamus, and the fox on this card. It's a slimline card. And look at them dancing off the side of the page. I think when you put them all together like that, you really can see how they are animating. And the crocodile just keeps chomping along. 
And lastly, I did a close-up of just the crocodile with the small crocodile stamp. And that one you really can see him chomping. This one I tried and I stamped with the New England Ivy color. Most of the other ones I've done in black, you really need a very dark color to contrast or to blend in with the um, animated sheets. So you have to do it in a dark color. And the New England Ivy seems to work. And the last of the animated stamp sets is the animated sentiments that CC9201. And this has all of the fun sentiments that you'll need. Happy birthday, surprise, thank you, hello, thanks, congrats. And it even has a heart. And the heart is really amazing because it beats. So let's look at some samples from that set. Here's the hello. And when you pull on the tab, the hello sort of rocks back and forth. It's so very cute. It's a very simple card, but has a big impact. And then here is the animated heart. And I really love this one. It looks like the heart's beating. I use the sending my love sentiment from the July stamp of the month. I really love that. And that cute heart paper comes in the 6x6 bright set, paper set. And again, you can buy all three sets together at a discount in a bundle. Okay, you also get these border thin cuts. And these you can use to make the border tabs. I'll show you here. So that is used to cut out that little pull tab where you stamp a sentiment on there so that they, the recipient knows to pull on the tab. There's four different shapes. That's the one that I used in that particular card. There's also the border tab stamp set. It has 15 stamps. It has different sentiments like pull here, pull this way, that way, and then a few of the small little decorations. And then this is what you put on the tab so that people know to pull it. So there was pull. I used some other designs. This one says pull here. And on this card I used the ooh. So it has an ooh and an ah. I thought that was cute for the butterfly set. And this is what makes the magic happen, the animation sheets. So this is something you definitely need to make these animation sheets work, or the animation stamps work. So it's a piece of acetate that has black lines going up and down on them. They come in three pack of 12 by 12 sheets. And lastly, here is the 6x6 Bright Stack, item CC9207. This mini paper packet contains some of our favorite paper patterns from past collections, now in a fun 6x6 size. Look at all those great designs. They're very fun and bright. And like all of the Close to My Heart paper, they are two-sided with different designs on the front and the back. So it gives you twice as much choice. This one you can see the blue stripe on one side and the diagonals on the other. These are great and really are perfect for the animation stamps. Okay, let's start making our cards. First, 
we create a frame and base with a stitch frames thin cut set. Now these thin cut sets do not come in the bundle, but they really make making these cards easy. There's a square set and a rectangle set. There are other shapes as well, but I'm going to use for my demonstration the square set. And the middle size one is the one that works perfectly with most of the stamps. So I get a piece of white daisy cardstock and I put the die down with the ribbed side down onto the paper so that it will cut it. Put another cutting plate on top and then run it through the die cutting machine. Now if you don't have a die cutting machine you can cut these out with a trimmer, paper trimmer. It's a little bit more difficult because you have to cut the frame out of the middle but it's not impossible. And actually on the sample with the three animals dancing across the side of the page, that one I did cut by hand. So here's the base piece that comes out of the middle, and then you have the frame piece. I'm going to move my die cutting machine so it doesn't get in the way. You notice it's a little bit hard to get the frame piece out of the frame, but I will show you a trick that makes it really easy to come out just get your little pointy tool and they have little holes in the sides of the die so you just push your pointy tool through the hole and it pushes the paper right out. So the middle frame is three and a quarter by three and a quarter inches so if you're going to cut it by hand you just cut it to that size and then the inside piece is two and three fourths and two and three fourths of an inch. You can also do this in multicolors. You probably want the base sheet to be a light color like white, but you can make the top piece a different color. So the second step is to create a tab border at least one inch wide with a border tab thin cut die. So I have a piece of paper that I cut about an inch and a half wide and it's slightly bigger than my base piece. So one and a half inches wide and wider than your base piece. So you can trim it to size. So I'm going to select one of the tab dies. And on this one I'm just using the sort of squared off tab. So I place my piece of paper down Put the die on top, line it up kind of right in the center, and I'm going to use a piece of purple tape to stick it down so the die stays in place. And then I put the second cutting plate on top and run it through the machine. These will cut through the first time, but I do like to go front and back. That way it's easy to get the paper out. Okay, I'm going to move that out of my way so we can see what we did. So here's what it looks like. I'm going to take off the purple tape, and I do keep that. I use it again. I'm going to throw this little piece away. I put my purple tape back on top of my cutting machine so I have it for the next time. And you can see how the tab set is just going to be placed on the edge of the base, but I'll cut it later to size. Okay, the next set of directions say to cut a piece of animation sheet lines vertical to match the size of your frame. So remember, my frame is three and a quarter by three and a quarter. So I'm going to cut my animation sheet to be three and a quarter square. So get out my trimmer and get a small piece of the animation sheet and then cut it to size. So I cut it here at three and a quarter and then turn it around and cut it at three and a quarter again. 
Now you saw all of the samples that I made and I'm still on my first pack of animation sheets. So I have probably made 16 cards and I still have a whole complete sheet and plus other pieces. Now it's really important if you're making the rectangular borders that you place the, the animation sheets vertically in the right direction. So depending on which way you're going to put your animal, you need to cut the sheets to the right size so that the lines are vertical. Okay, the next directions, number four, say stamp the animation image onto the base and the sentiment onto the tab. So I'm going to make the heart animated stamp so I have it on a stamp block and I'm going to use some intense black ink and then stamp it right onto the base center it now when you're stamping it you have to make sure that the lines are vertical okay for the heart that means you just place it up and down but some of the butterflies you have to place kind of on an angle so that the lines are vertical. So this is very important. It won't animate, they won't move unless the lines are vertical. Okay, now I'm going to select one of the pull tab stamps. And I think I'm just going to use the one that says pull. I think it makes it obvious for the recipient since these are new, what they're supposed to do. Okay, put the sentiment onto my block and stamp it up. And then oh, I got a little bit on the edge, so I'm going to wipe it off with my stamp chamois and get my border tab and I'm going to stamp it right on there. Now you can put it on either direction. I put this on where the word is facing out. Okay, the next direction is to attach the border tab to the back of the base leaving a quarter inch allowance for the pull tab. So when you place this on, you don't want the base to sit right up against the edge of the border tab because you're going to have a quarter inch of the frame. So you want to leave a quarter inch so that frame doesn't cover up the word. Okay, so leave that space. And what I did is I just put the border tab on my mat there that's marked with a quarter inch and then I just eyeballed it and put it a quarter inch away from the edge. And I have the tab slightly below center. Okay, now I'm just going to trim it to size. You can use scissors here if you want to. You don't need to use the trimmer, but I use the trimmer here. Oh, and I have a little piece I need to trim off there. Okay, I'm happy with how it is now. Okay, now what I need to do is attach the animation sheet to the back of the frame with adhesive. And here I'm using our liquid adhesive. I think it makes a nice bond with that acetate sheet. This is just like I would do if I was making a shaker card or something. You want to thin it out. You don't want to put a lot because you don't want to get the glue onto the animation sheet. So you can see here I'm really being careful about not touching the sheet with my sticky fingers. So stick it right down on the card. Okay, um, 
looks like I got a little tab, a little bit smooshing out, so I wiped it off. Again, remember, you can make the frame a different color if you want. It doesn't have to be white. And in a few of my samples, I did use a different color. Okay, now we need to add the 3D foam tape to the back side of the frame, but you only put it on three sides because you need one side for the base to be able to pull in and out. And I'm using our 3D thin foam tape. And this package, it comes with two different sizes. You want to use the smaller size, the quarter inch size. And it is exactly the size of those frames. So put it right across the top trim it to size. This also provides a nice surface along which your base can slide against so that um, it doesn't get lost in there. So it's like a, a rail that your base can slide up against. So I did it on the two sides and now I'm going to do it on the back sides. And when you're doing this, remember to leave the open side so that your animation sheets, the lines are vertical. Okay, that's the thin 3D foam tape. I left the one side open. Okay, now I'm going to attach the prepared animation window to your project. So here I just have a regular, our standard cards that I've put on a piece of paper from the 6x6 Bright Stack. I thought that was a fun bright color for a heart. Now I'm going to take off the liner on the foam strips so that I can stick it onto the page. Make sure when you stick it down that you leave the open side to the right if we're assuming we're going to be pulling it from the right. If you want to pull it from the top you can do that. Um, you just need to make sure you have it pulled from the top. Okay, and now we're going to insert the prepared base. Take our base and just slide it right into the opening. See how nice it fits? Now watch how it animates as we pull it. I love this one. I love that heart like it's beating. And the last step, voila! Slide the base in and out of the frame and watch your creativity in motion. Then you can finish decorating the card as you like. I put a little sentiment here that says, for my beautiful friend. I threw on a couple sparkles. And there you have it. Your creativity in motion card. It is so very easy, but looks amazing.